one I've seen so far. Oh my god, that is the cutest. Oh. We're in the oh, love, baby! <laughs> I'll be working in Milan for a month and it kind of feels like I'm traveling through time because my mom and my godmother used to travel to Milan as models in the 90s as well. I live in a model apartment just like they used to. I think there's around seven other girls and this is where we live. Welcome to our crib. The apartment is right above the agency. We have this beautiful living space on the roof with a big kitchen, a shared bathroom, pretty nice showers these dorm-like bedrooms, a closet for each and every girl, and then we even have a freaking terrace on the roof. Hello. And of course, the rules. Reality TV material. 2023 has been really beautiful and busy so far. I tend to experience life through pretty oscillating waves and in a way i think i need a rest from those intense phases last year i focus on living more calmly resting and kind of putting things on hold to look around and clean up internally
is recharged and ready to rumble. Ever since January, I've been throwing myself back into adventures and agitation. I'm definitely at a very energetic high at the moment and i have so much to share finally i've been a social butterfly and even though it's already june my resources don't seem to be used up yet <laughs> i guess letting everything slow down and accepting the quiet probably laid a firmer foundation for me to live more wildly again and wildly she lived <laughs> Even though Milan isn't the warmest city, energetically speaking, it's been a bliss so far. I think in a way it's challenging me to maintain a positive outlook. Yesterday I got stuck in the elevator on my way back from a casting for instance. <laughs> Ciao! So I got stuck in an elevator. But did I let that influence my good spirit and flow? Mm -mm. I just booked my first two jobs! A couple of days ago, I got a roommate from Germany and she turns out to be the best freaking Pilates instructor and health coach ever. crazy to me, I've never pushed through the pain as much as I do with Gina every morning. And after three or four days of not giving up, my body just, it switched. I still die, I struggle, and I shake, and I sweat my ass off, but I'm not sore anymore. And every morning, I wake up with a smile on my face because I'm excited to move. It's crazy to me how adaptable the human body is, and it's so empowering to see what my body is capable of. Repeat after me. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Pain is weakness leaving the body. And if you think you cannot continue anymore, you're just at 40% of your physical capacity. Not me becoming a fitness coach. I've already gotten so much stronger. <sighs> what? Right. 